After Noach and his family's departure from the Teva, following the flood, HaKadosh Baruch Hu speaks to Noach, issuing a number of directives relevant to the process of rebuilding. Included in this series is the prohibition against murder. Shofech dam adam, ba'adam damo yishafech. He who spills human blood by witnesses shall his blood be spilled. And also, right afterwards, HaKadosh Baruch Hu commands, Vatem pru'uruvu, shirtsu va'aretz, uruvuva. And you should be fruitful and multiply, propagate in the earth and multiply in it. What's the connection between these two commands, the prohibition of murder and the application to have children? According to Radak, it's very simple, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted to repopulate the earth, and therefore, he had to make sure that no one was murdered, and at the very same time, that we continue to have children and reproduce. Chazal, however, the Medrash is quoted in Rashi, suggests that actually HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to teach us that a person who chooses not having children is actually committing an offense equivalent to murder itself, as in both, both instances, one fails to further the goal of repopulating the earth. However, the Masha Chochma offers a very different approach, citing a famous piece of from Bava Batra and Daf Samachamudbet. There, the Gemara tells that in response to the ruthless persecution of the Romans, the Jews at the time considered not having children, and considered allowing the Jewish people to actually disappear rather than having children who would suffer religious persecution and be unable to properly observe the Torah. They thought maybe. Maybe they should end on Yisrael. The Meshachach must suggest what the Torah here is teaching us is that that kind of attitude is wrong. The Torah is telling us that even in times of rampant persecution and bloodshed, when tyranny and violence are surrounding us, people still have to marry and have children. Don't even think about these matters, says HaKadosh Baruch I will take care of those who are murdering. But you need to be able to populate this world, have children. The question of whether or not this earth is an inviting place for children to inhabit is one which ultimately HaKadosh Baruch himself has to answer. As far as we're concerned, we always have the obligation to have families and to have children, even during times of terrible hardship and oppression.